Hey everybody, welcome to Painting for Pleasure. We're gonna do another piece today uh, that's uh, marsh grass. I know we've done this before, but it's not a bad idea to go over this a couple of times, do a few pieces, and this was uh, this is one of the things that I'm going to work with today. Essentially, this is the piece right here. Now we, we did this, uh, we did a piece that has some marsh grass in it, but this is more of a summer marsh grass as opposed to what we did before. Um, it's got some interesting characteristics to it, but the reason I'm doing it is to get you to understand that I, this is the texture here and the texture here and the water, totally different, and we're going to work this thing out. And what I did is I put, as opposed to this, I put a couple of homes back here, and I have, I took this photograph and took the canoe um, that's here, there's a couple of people paddling the canoe, sort of reverse it like it's coming out from behind the marsh grass into this area right here just to give it a little bit of a focus in that area so that's what we're going to do I'm going to use these two pieces and uh, I think it should be should be interesting to do uh, hopefully we're going to get to do a few other kinds of interesting things going forward um, change it up a little bit if you have any ideas and you'd like to do send them in to me at uh, my email address, it's uh, T-O-N-Y-V, T-O-N-Y-V at uh, theartdude.com or rigatoni, R-I-G-G-A-H, T-O-N-Y at gmail.com. So, let's get started um, and look at how we can approach it. Light of day, the sun is up pretty much, both of these, so it's probably your... Um, Oh, let's say late afternoon, sun's coming from the left-hand side across the marsh grass. It's sort of dark in this area, so we're going to be coming across this way, um, casting a shadow down in this area here. Uh, I don't know what this paper is, but it's a, a little bit different paper. It's not, it's, it might take the water a little bit better uh, than what I've been using. It's not that garbage stuff that I use. This is a little bit different. Uh, but anyway, we're going to come over here and get started. And I'm going to start by wetting the sky. We're going to put in the sky. We're going to put the sky in with blue, a little bit of warmth uh, in it too as well. So uh, I'm just taking some clear water right now and putting it into the sky area. And uh, we're going to sort of come down here. Wet. I'm going to wet this as I go. I'm not going, to, not going to wet the whole paper. I'm just going to wet this as I go. Okay, so we're going to come down to the sky, and I'm going to come. I'm going to make the sky come right into the tree area over here too, as well. So we're going to wet this all. Got a home in here. Got a home right here. Building. And this is all trees and marsh grass as it comes down here. So what we'll do is we'll start by introducing some interesting um, values across the top of that uh, in color. We're going to keep it on the light side, keep it blue or uh, daylight. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of warmth in here. I have a little bit of uh, alizarin crimson in my wash just to give it a little bit of a reddish cast. Can you see that? Yeah, all right. A lot of water, a lot of water, a little bit of alizarin, a little bit of a, actually what it is, is a little bit of, um, yeah, alizarin or, um, stop for a minute. I, I, was, I thought it was, it is alizarin actually. I thought it was a little bit of opera, but it's a little bit of alizarin on the brownish side. I'm gonna just mix it up a little bit here and bring in some warmth in my new gamboge, make it a little bit lighter, warmer, coming down here. And now, my I'm going to add some coolness to it. With my blue. So the cobalt blue. Um, and I want a little bit of this stuff behind these trees. All right. So 
So we'll, we'll get a little bit of that in there. And where this is going to be yellow, I'm going to end up coming in here and bring in my light straw color, which is a combination of Naples yellow and yellow ochre. And we're just going to sort of give this a little bit of a taste of that right in here. All right. And that's going to represent some of the stuff that we're doing over there. Uh, some of the stuff that this is really tingy yellow that we're doing. I'm going to add a little bit of my burnt sienna to this. So I want it. I want this. I want this cool over here and this warm over here on this side. Um, is this in the way? Hold on for a second. Let me just move this out of the way. All right, there you go. I had a wire hanging down. Okay. A little bit of warm stuff. Add a little bit of blue to this. And we're going to turn this on the green side. So what I just did is mix New Gamboge with my cobalt blue. And we're going to come down in here and add this. Now, see how wet this is? Doing this deliberately. Um, a little cobalt blue. A little bit of strong, stronger. This is going to be nice and light down here. Uh, but what I do need is a little bit more interesting, interesting blue green. I want a lighter, lighter blue green. So. And what I just did is I just took, I have uh, some peacock blue in here, which is a nice bright blue, and I mixed that with my new gamboge to get this, this bright green. This can be had, actually, you can get this in another way. You can actually get this by mixing uh, cerulean blue. And we'll get some of that in here. All right, so you can, you can do the same thing, mix some cerulean blue which we all know I use a, a lot of. So here's my cerulean blue. And then coming in here and doing the same thing with New Gamboge. So cerulean blue and New Gamboge will give you pretty much the same thing. Not as intense, not as bright, but for the purposes that we're looking for, it'll be fine. And I'm going to put in some of this green back in this area here where some of these trees are going to be. Some of this area down here. Right, so we want it bright. We want it bright. So you notice the, the sort of the bright greens that are back here. This is very loose, very watery in that area. Um, now we're going to end up coming in here and coming across with some really watery Light green, and I'm going to start. I'm going to come across that in a little while, so that with a little bit more of that, um, as we we come across a little bit of the same thing here, uh, just going to end up taking a tissue. Let's get a little bit of a take some of this water out. Because I got puddles of water here. I don't want to necessarily have puddles of water. Okay, so again, a yellow side, a little bit of yellowish green. A 
coming across and I'm leaving some dry spots across that area. Now we're using brighter colors, right? So again, I'm leaving this a little bit, doing this on a dry bit, and I'm coming across and I'm just raking this over here, just taking my brush and across the broad area, dry area, and, uh, and sort of sweeping it a little bit. I want I want to leave some light spots, some some of the paper white. And I'm gonna end up getting a little bit darker in my my values down in this area. And this is again when it, this is dry. Not this is not wet. So what I'm doing is I'm coming up with my strokes. Okay. Got to be careful around this, these guys here because I don't want to want to make sure I work around them, around the boat. Okay, and we're going to make this a little bit darker as well. And it'll be my, by the time we're through. This is going to be all marsh grass. Let's get a little bit darker. I'm going to go to eat my. I'm going to start mixing my, uh, my ultramarine blue in here with a little bit of my burnt sienna. I want this darker down in this area here. So, very lightly. Now, a little bit more, a little bit more warmer colors. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pick up some of my, my browns, which is my, basically my new game, uh, my uh, burnt sienna, and come in here and change this up a bit, make it a little bit warmer. Okay. Then a rock over here. Okay. Now uh, the shoreline is going to end sort of right here. And we're going to end up having more shadow over here, which we will put in. But I also want you to understand that we're going to end up doing something over here with a little bit darker, a little bit more, a little bit more pigment in my brown to my burnt sienna. Right in that area there, we're going to end up actually probably doing a couple of Still a little bit wet, but that's good. Okie doke. Same way with over here. We would just want to get some of that in there. Um, because we got a touch, touch of this stuff here and there. You know, there's some, 
some sort of brown stuff going on back there. Let's go back to my darker blue. But now I'm going to do less water. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. Okay? So let's get a, my small my small round brush here, a smaller round brush. All right, that was a, that was a, this one here was a number 12. I'm going down here to a number This is a number 3. Um Okay, so a little burnt sienna and uh, my mixture of burnt sienna and my uh, French ultramarine blue. Okay, so we got some real dark stuff that's going on in here. rocks and we're going to do dark stuff in there and we certainly are going to do some dark stuff in the bank back here What I did is I just taken some cobalt blue and putting it in here as well. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to do some sort of interesting work in here to create my uh, create my feathers, my light, um, the feeling of marsh grass. I'm going to take some water now. Cut this up into this area. Okay, water, brush in the water. This is just small, flat brush, and I'm just taking water and moving it from the bottom here up into the area and, and uh, the water is going to eat away at some of this okay see what I'm doing see So I'm, I'm trying to create a lot, some light, some light areas. Some linear structure, which we will put in here pretty soon, more, a little bit more. Okay, linear structure. So we get okay. Now 
Now, a little bit drier. This is a cobalt blue. Okay, so that, so they see what's happening here. And if this is my area right here, I got some darks back here. Maybe, maybe a few dark trees that are coming up over here. Maybe a couple of this in the area. Okay. Um, Tops of these. Marsh weeds or cat nine tails or whatever the heck they are that's growing here. Okay. And let's get some real good ducks. Now this is cobalt, all I'm dealing with here is cobalt blue. Cobalt blue and burnt sienna now for some of these drugs. And the brush is not, the paint is not wet. It's just basically what happens is that paint is we're doing is it just a dry brush effect into those areas. So that's all very important. Um, So I've got this, I'm going to do some linear work over here, a little bit more linear work. But we'll do that. I'll get, I need to get a thin, thin brush to do that with. Because I want to create that marsh grass. Now, what's happening right here is, is that we have a shadow. And we're going to do this shadow over here in blue. So let me just... Let me just pick up. So we've got a we've got a building over here. Okay. Now the reason why well I probably shouldn't do that. I was gonna say what's what's happening is we've we've got a tree over here that's casting shadows. Let's just do this another way. Let me see if I can pull this out a little bit. Because we've got a cast shadow situation that's going on. Um, so maybe instead of doing it that way, now before you... Let me just put a, put a little bit of warmth in here. And then we'll put my... Then I'll put my blue shadow in. Um, okay, and the same thing is going to hold through for this. This is going to be all dark, though. So, Shadows on this side, shadows on this side. So we're going to end up, we'll do this shadow effect now over here on some of this stuff here. So this is the shadow side of the house. We'll put that in there like that and we're going to shadow this. So 
So we're going to make that over there, and then we're going to just put a red roof on. Uh, both of these. Okay, so now we're going to put out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add more trees in here. Okay. Okay, so we have um, some trees in the background here. Make, make one here. I'm going to start moving up. some trees over there. Um, Remember, light against dark all the time. We're playing around with this. Okay, so let me get back to let me get back to doing get this real small brush now. We'll start to, to look at. We've got a couple of figures in the boat, and we've got uh, we've got the boat itself, right? So the boat itself, little canoe. Um, I want to get. Uh, Let's get the canoe in here. Okay, there's my canoe. And while we're here, let's start to do something about this thing here. So, is that still not dry enough? Still not dry enough.
we're just going to create some nice effects. This is going to go right up to the top here. All right, I put the light stuff down first. So I had my background. And as I come down and come up here, let's get um, a little bit richer in pigment. Okay, that's going to get greener and greener. Okay. And as we come down into this area here, we're going to do the same thing. We have we have some green, which we will put in. I'm just staying away from all of this stuff because this will be too quick, the, 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 uh, the water. But what I'm just saying is we're going to end up some, we end up, we need, need some dark spots here and there. And this should be, Actually, the way I'm going to do this, I think, is this way. To get it started. Because if I don't, I'm going to be here all day doing that. So I'm going to scumble some of this in. Okay. And this is one of the ways to which we can we can handle that kind of stuff. Now I want to change up. What I do is I, I just certainly want to change. I don't want all this to be the same. So I'm mixing up a little bit of yellow ochre right now. To try to create the illusion without, I guess it's without painting every darn stroke, you know. Not going to see as much back there. All 
right? That's got to dry, that's got to dry, that's got to dry. We're going to put in our, let's put in our people. And we'll make them. Okay. Some marsh grass. Vary the colors. A little bit of green with, with, by mixing my new gamboge and my cobalt blue. Uh, maybe a little bit like I just did here of my uh, yellow. The, the yellow being adding a little bit of green to it. Yellow ochre, a little bit of green to it. I'm just mixing some of this up. Um, Coming down to the water's edge here, I'm just basically this is all this is all mud. What do you call it? Uh, marsh uh, mud tied. So the, the angle is sort of more more this way right now. And uh, nice and dark. So we'll go back over this. Um, this is dry enough now to put a shadow. Let's get a little bit of a blue cast over here. So we'll put a little bit of shadow. In here. Oh, it's way too dark.
subtle shadow, Tony, subtle. All right, let's try, let's try to uh, let's get a little bit of, yellow and that, a little bit of something on that person there. person right there. It is a canoe, so that canoe should have a rounded edge to it, there you go. I'm doing now is just adding some darks because we don't have enough darks in here. Too much water, guys, too much water. Okay, so let's get back to doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. A little bit, a little bit of dry brush in here. Hopefully my head's out of the picture.
We'll probably go back and take I'll take some of that out of there pretty soon. Just, what I'm doing is I'm just dotting this. I'm taking uh, my Naples yellow and creating just the tops of these um, reeds. I do the same thing down here. I know it doesn't look like much at this point, um, or probably, hopefully it does, but the idea is be behind here is to create the illusion of, uh, of all this marshy, reedy grass. And some of these areas are real dark. Well, especially along the bottom. And I'm gonna end up probably making some of these areas here, like all of this stuff back here. We may just make some darker trees. Okay, and the greens, a little bit more green. Um, and we're going to darken this up right here because this is. building. I want the building dark, but I, I want to be able to define it. Again, my Naples yellow. A little bit of Naples yellow and take a little bit of, let's do, try a little bit of lavender. Might be a little bit too busy, I'm not sure yet. 
might be a little bit too busy. All right, so we know that's all green, light green. We know that all of this stuff back here is going to be light green. And I'm going to put in all of this stuff over here as light green. Okay, I'll wash all of this in a little bit too light. There you go. All right. Now, just right in here. A little bit of wash. on the white. Don't want it all white. I may do some more of that over there. Okay, let's look. so let's that we got that done. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's put in the wash in the water. Um, and we should be close. So we're now we're just going to wet this whole area. This is all going to be water. Wet it all. Take a little bit of cobalt blue along with I'm adding a little bit of lavender to my cobalt blue. Get some water. See, all I'm doing is just wetting this. This is all going to be. This is all going to be wet in here, and we're going to end up. Bringing some of that back in this area here. Okay. And I'll add a little bit of my opera to this over here as we come down in this area here. Going to be a bit more of a red, blue, purplish color. Let's get in that cobalt blue and that. Make a nice, as we come off the bank. A little more, look at this. Oh, absolutely pretty. So this right up. Nice and green area. We're going to do that right here. Let's get some wash on this too. Kill all of this. Okay.
Got them much too busy in there. So what we'll just do is take a little bit of cobalt blue, a little bit of new gamboge, combine it. Subtly come in here and just wash that in and probably should have been doing that a long time ago. There you go. Okay. Dry. It's got to dry. While it's drying, I'm just going to be um, just going to let it go a little bit, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I want to lighten this up. And what I did is I put I put tape around here. Now this I this paper I can do it with because this is a solid uh, paper. It's not it, its fibers are uh, hard, so I'm not too worried about um, not too worried about it tearing up the fibers. So it's, it's a hard surface. Um, so to give you some example, let's say I just I want to lighten. This is a window, so let's just lighten. We're going to lighten a certain area here. So we're just going to let's say lighten this area right up here. Okay. So what I want to do is to come in here and wet this. I made this too dark. This is one of the ways that with a with a uh, hard fiber paper you can sort of work hard surface paper. So this is a this is more of a bristle brush. That was a soft brush. So this is more of a bristle brush. So you can come in here and actually scrub. Okay, so we're going to scrub this. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking it a step at a time here. Scrub this. Make that nice and light. We, get, we really should let it dry thoroughly. So I'm just going to let it dry thoroughly before I lift the tape. Because if I don't do that, I may tear it. Um, now, I'm also going to do something else here. And these are just ways in which we can create some interest. Uh, and that is, we're going to do the same thing with this one here. I want, I want the straight, well, you know what? I'll get a bigger piece of tape. Okay, so this is dry enough, so let me just take this off. And we'll take this edge off here. And you can see what how I've lightened that. Now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically go through the process of making making this lighter here. 
and and here we'll just we'll do see this little zig. So we're going to do the same thing. Now this this is basically how if um, if I were going to enter this into a watercolor society that would not allow any opaque paint, in other words, opaque whites, then the way to handle it is this way. Uh, it, you know, you're working on a working on a, a solid piece of paper that that is that you can do something like this with. And with a small bristle brush, you can come in here and literally take the paint out, remove it. Okay. Okay, so that's done. And again, we should, let me just, so I'm just lightening, all I did is lighten this up a bit. Now, I want to create a nice, clean, straight edge. Slowly, all right, so you can see what I found. I just made, made that, made my house a little lighter. So what I want to do is clean, I want a nice clean thin line here. Okay, I don't want, I want a straight line. Okay, so we'll make this, we'll just scrub this out. That way, what I what happens is I get a nice, I get a nice clean line, which is, right, which is basically the outline of my my house. So there's practical uses for tape. Um, and you have to, and that's important because, but but you, you can only work at on, you know, with, with tape. If you're going to play around with tape and pull a lot of this stuff out, it has to be on a tough piece of paper. Okay, we're going to do one more, and then I'm going to call it uh, a painting, because I can, I can do that. I can put a few more lines in here and so forth and bring out some lights the same way, but uh, for the sake of our argument and for our painting lesson, this is just, again, another source or another lesson to be able to pull a lot of this stuff out. So let's assume I want to make a nice light line over here. What I did is I taped it around it. Now I'm using the straight edges, and I made a real thin line, or as thin as I could possibly make. I could probably make it a little thinner. But again, going back in here, making sure that tape is down, by the way. Uh, good. And coming in here and pulling the color out. All right. What I want to do is I want to create um, a, a nice light line, which is going to be indicative of the roofing, the edge of the roofing, the overhang on this building. Uh, so we're just going to go in here and just scrub it out a bit. and then carefully lift it off. Okay. Now, again, this is just to show you that you can do this with hard paper, with paper that will not tear. And this is really, I'm gonna be very careful here. This is really the way a lot of this stuff is handled. Uh, you see these, you see these very uh, interesting guys that do I mean, that's all they do is they just 
work on taping and lifting and changing of colors and so forth, but you know, uh, unfortunately what ends up happening, I'm just going to pull this one out too. What ends up happening is, is that the uh, Transparent Watercolor Society doesn't allow you to use any white opaque paint. So the only way you can get back to the white of the paper is to do a little bit of sort of interesting taping and working. And so what that means is you're going to end up, we're going to end up working on a piece of um, harder, harder surface paper. I, I shouldn't do that. I should just got to be careful. What they, I just ripped it. So we'll just have to cover that over. Um, but anyway, that, that's the idea behind doing something like this, just, just is to go back and do something with a piece of uh, some tape and, uh, and be very careful. Now, again, you, you sh you, you've got to be careful about putting tape down uh, in areas. Uh, and you have to be careful about uh, lifting the tape up unless it's absolutely dry. And it goes for this kind of stuff, too, because I'm just touching this. Just creating some lighter, lighter areas. Sometimes it's better just to go in here and just lighten this up up. Now, no, there's just a lot of ways to do it, guys. It really is. There's just a tremendous amount of ways to make make all of this stuff happen. And uh, depending on how much you want to work on it and how much you want to do, um, I'm going to come in here and just sort of cover this over a little bit. Uh, you know, there's a lot. There's really a lot that you can. There's a lot that you can do. You can you can spend hours and hours and hours on this. It's not worth it. it just isn't worth it. Um, you know, working with. <coughs> And working wet into wet, much better. You see how this all flows? This water looks terrific. It has a, a sheen to it. It has a reflection to it. It's reflecting the sky. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this technique and this, the way to do this. And it's just another, another way in which we can accomplish a painting. Uh, so from me to you, uh, until the next time, please remember to paint with pleasure. Have fun with this stuff. Enjoy it. And uh, we'll talk and we'll, we'll do another piece next week. Bye-bye.